Well, um, it's my pleasure to welcome you to Caulfield School and to briefly introduce myself. Uh, my name is James Sankey and from September 2020, I will be head teacher of Caulfield School. Uh, some of you may know that I'm not a new face to the schools. So I'm currently deputy head here and previously uh, faculty leader for maths. Um, my wife and I moved to Dorset 11 years ago and we currently have two uh, young children who are in primary school. Caulfield School is a fantastic school and it is a privilege to be leading the school uh, in the years ahead as we build on the current strengths and go on to even greater success uh, in the future. Um, I would have loved to welcome you uh, and your son or daughter uh, face to face today, um, but unfortunately that's not been the case, but I do hope it's not too long before we can meet in person. I want to take this opportunity just to share a little bit about uh, what we're about as a school and how important the partnership is between us and you as parents. I'm now going to load a slideshow for the remainder of my presentation. So um, I, I want to welcome you and I want to tell you a little bit about, uh, first of all, um, our strapline, which you may well have already seen in a number of different places. That is high expectations and exceptional individuals. And I just want to tell you what we mean by that. So high expectations, there are really two things when we talk about high expectations. And the first one uh, is what we describe as the Caulfield's goal, which is that students learn to the max every lesson. And there are four things which we think characterise learning to the max. The first one is be always being prepared. So coming ready to learn with the equipment you need to learn, with the attitude that you need to learn, uh, coming ready to make the most of every lesson. The second one is always being engaged, making the most, uh, being active learners who participate in the lesson fully, always inquisitive. We believe and we want to cultivate a uh, a, 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 an attitude within young people that they are striving for knowledge, that they are interested and have a love of learning. Uh, and actually, if they do those three, uh, they're prepared, they're engaged, they're inquisitive, they will always be progressing. And you can see uh, from the results that the young people at Caulfield School achieve uh, that actually uh, learning to the max delivers the results. And the second thing that captures high expectations for us is uh, this phrase, be in the right place at the right time, doing the right thing. And that applies to every member of our school community, whether a student or a member of staff. If we do the right things, so turning up to lessons on time, uh, coming with the right attitude, uh, making the right choices, following, uh, and you will hear more about this from Mrs Jones, the Caulfield's way, uh, then actually from the right place, the right time, doing the right thing, we will be a successful and thriving community. So that's what we expect from every student at Caulfield School. And the second part is exceptional individuals. What do we mean by that? Well, there, there are a few things. First one uh, is we want every person to, the young person to work hard and to dream big. One of the things we don't do at Caulfield School is set targets for students uh, to say, we think you should get this grade, because what that does, it puts a ceiling on them. We want our young people to dream big and we do not want to place a limit on what they can achieve. So we want them to work hard. We want them to dream big. That's what it means to start developing exceptional individuals. The second thing is we want them to make the most of every experience that we have on offer. The offer at Caulfield School is fantastic and I'll talk a little bit more about um, uh, what we offer in a moment, but actually what we want is young people who seize those opportunities. They take everything that we have to offer and through that they become stronger. And what you will have already seen uh, probably when you visited the school and things that you've looked at perhaps online is how, uh, how much of an inspiration our young people are to one another. And we want students to go through this, take the opportunities, become stronger and go on and inspire others. And there are many uh, inspirational young people within Caulfield School. Uh, and the final part of exceptional individuals is to do with their character, that they are kind and respectful. We are developing young people and we, we are committed to their character development and I'll talk about that in a moment a little bit more. But that's what we mean when we talk about high expectations and exceptional individuals. 
the outcome of all of this, what do we want to achieve? Why are we focusing on that? Well, actually, we want young people who make a positive lifelong contribution to society. We are preparing students to leave Caulfield School, some at 16, most 18, to go on uh, and to lead, lead, lead successful lives that make a significant contribution to community and to more wider to society. That's what matters to us as a school. So what do we offer students at Caulfield School? At Caulfield School, students will experience a knowledge rich curriculum. We have a fantastic curriculum offer. Year nine offers real breadth. Um, they get an involvement in five different technology areas over year nine. It's a real chance for them to get a broad exposure as they start to make the decisions from year 10 onwards as to GCSE courses that they will choose to follow. But we have a fantastic and, and rich and uh, diverse offer, uh, both in year nine, but also through our GCSE and A-level offer to allow students to pursue their interests, talents, skills, and have that breadth of experience that's going to enable uh, them to take the next steps in their educational journey. We're also absolutely committed to developing character and also really investing in creativity. We we believe that uh, education of the whole person is really important and so our personal development programme is, is, is key to, to thinking about developing those attributes and developing um, leadership skills uh, through our house system, uh, whether it's uh, through developing uh, uh, their creative skills both within the academic curriculum but also within our extracurricular provision of school show, uh, dance live, uh, sporting provision, sporting uh, at a, comp at sport comp uh, a competitive level or whatever it might be. Uh, we, we want to develop uh, our, our young people. We, as I've already mentioned, our, our, our goal is that they're equipped to make a lifelong contribution to society and that comes with uh, giving each student uh, excellent and thorough uh, careers guidance and support uh, as they think about making uh, those next steps, whether it's GCSE, A-level, uh, college, uh, and whether it's progressing on to university uh, or apprenticeship, whatever it might be, we invest and take seriously uh, uh, the support that we put in place to help students um, take those next steps in their progression and be prepared uh, for their role in society. Uh, and, uh, you, you know, it, it is already familiar to you. I said I've talked about it once already. It's here again. Caulfield students will uh, be given the opportunity every lesson to learn to the max and will participate in that in a way that helps them to get the most out of their schooling. Uh, and, 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 you know, that comes down to, uh, if I give you one example, um, uh, it comes down to the way in which we use a lesson structure, which begins with uh, a, a, a recall quiz to help secure their knowledge based on the, uh, on, on the best evidence out there in terms of how students learn we structure our learning so that students will be able will be able to learn to the max every lesson so that's what our offer is all about now a, a couple of things i just wanted to make uh, to, to share with you about um the way in which we work together uh, as uh, as a school and as parents uh, and, and as students we all have an equal part to play and it's so important that we see this is built on trust and understanding. It is a, a partnership that's committed to ensuring their potential. That's what we're about uh, and that's I know what you want uh, for your son or daughter and it's about developing them as a person. It is about celebrating their success and it's also about working through the challenges. We know uh, that teenage years are uh, challenging uh, and we want to work together with you uh, to support them through those changes, through the big decisions they've got to make, uh, through uh, the ups and downs. Uh, and it's really important that at all stages we work together and we look forward uh, to working with you um, in the years ahead uh, while your um, son or daughter uh, is at Caulfield School. Uh, and it is always a privilege. We have so many students who return back uh, to us to share uh, what they have been doing uh, in the years after they've left Caulfield School. We really are a community and we really do want to work with you and work together. It's a really important partnership. Final thing just to say uh, from me is about keeping in touch. Um, 
don't hesitate to get in contact if you've got any questions. I've put two uh, points of contact there. The first one is Claire Oakley, uh, if you've got general admissions inquiries. The second one is Sarah Jones here, who is currently assistant head, deputy head from September, um, who will who is uh, dealing with transition arrangements. There is another presentation you will see um, up from her as well with some more specifics on transition, but get in contact if you've got further questions there. And my final thing I say is if you're not already uh, linked up on social media, uh, our details of, our, of how you can find us are below. Do uh, get on there and see what's happening uh, in our school community, even in these um, uh, uh, uncertain times where uh, schools aren't able to function as they normally do. Um, as I said at the beginning, I do hope it's not too long before we can meet face to face.